Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C Sharp tutorials. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can display the current date and time uh, to a web form uh, using the current time which will be changing every second by second. So let me show you the actual result which we will be getting after completion of this tutorial. Uh, this will look something like this. This will be showing you the current time depending upon the seconds also it will be accurate to uh, even the seconds so let's start this let me <coughs> clear uh, all of the stuff I've done or earlier okay so now I have an empty form so first let me just drag and drop one label so here I have a label let me change its text size just go down let me make it Arial bold and uh, size 12 done now the name is name one what I need to do is I will go in the toolbox and I will add up a timer to our form if I drop it to the form you don't see anything on the form but uh, if you see below you can see something which looks like a clock with the name timer one so this is the timer which will be uh, updating our time every uh, after every period which we define it to do so we'll go back to our properties menu and in that I will double click this uh, enable property so that our uh, timer can start working and the interval is uh, uh, thousand hundred, hundred millisecond hundred millise a uh, thousand milliseconds makes uh, one second so will I will keep it hundred only so that it will uh, do it you know hundred milliseconds once so once we are done with this I can double click this uh, timer and uh, it will take me to this code file and uh, we have one uh, timer one tick function in this event what we are going to do is first we will be declaring one string variable let me say time and i am going to assign it the date time object now dot to now you have uh, some options either you can go with too long time string to short day string to short date string to short time string or to universal string you can get the year you can get the month whatever you want so what I will be doing is uh, I will be just uh, taking the two short will take long time string will take it to uh, the long time string and uh, now I will assign it to my label one dot Oops. Now. label one dot text and I will assign my time to it now if I run this application I should get the time and that to uh, that which will be changing after each and every second so here I am just taking the time of my system and I am just showing it in this label so right now the time is 641 with 52 seconds and now it's 53 so this is how you can show the exact time and if you want to uh, show the date you can go and uh, go to the long date string if you run this application again now you have it as Tuesday March 4th 2014 so if you want different results you can just play around and see what different uh, functions will give you as output so this is it hope you understood the video and thanks for watching it